Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way I found to find the range of a function without a graphing calculator. Um, so obviously the fastest way would be just to graph it, but if you don't have that, um, let's say it's on like a non-calculated portion of a test or something, then you can use this method. Uh, so basically we're going to find the function's inverse and then we're going to find the domain for the inverse and that will be the range for the original function. So domain uh, are the x values and then the range are the y values and uh, this uh, graphic right here shows that the domain and the range are switched for a function and its inverse and then to find the inverse of a function uh, just as review you just swap the x and y values and then you solve for the y um, so now this, let's do an example of using this method to find the range of a function so this uh, is our function right here so y equals 1 over x plus 4 minus 2 so next time, what I'm going to do is uh, find its inverse, so to swap in the x and y values. So you get x equals 1 over uh, y inverse plus 4 minus 2, and then you solve for y inverse, um, which equals 1 over x plus 2 minus 4. Now once you have the inverse, we're going to find its domain, and domain for this is, um, it's all real numbers except x equals negative 2, because when x is equal to negative 2, the denominator becomes 0 right here which would make this undefined so therefore that is the domain and that's going to be the range of the original function so domain for the inverse is x cannot equal negative 2 and then the range for the original function is all real numbers except negative 2 um, so we can also check our answer whoops, from the graph and uh, right here you can see uh, this is the graph of the original function and indeed the range is all real numbers except y equals negative 2. So hopefully this method is going to help you guys uh, solve uh, these problems like uh, faster and more efficiently if you don't have a calculator and you can always use the calculator to check your answer. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helped.